Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to my cheat tutorial for Gemcraft, Frostborn Wrath. I found another tutorial for cheating in this game on YouTube already, but that one only told you how to change the leeching for these orange gems, specifically the amount of mana you get each time it hits. I wanted to do this cheating in order to get through the trial modes, however, which are pretty tough, and they don't always have orange gems in them. So I went forth with Cheat Engine and found something else that I could use. When you're in Cheat Engine, you're going to first want to search for a double, and its value is going to be 0 0.6700. It's usually the last one in my experience. I can come on over here. When we're browsing the memory, that's what it shows. The default view for the memory looks like this, so you want to change it to doubles right there. And that's our number. You'll know this is the right number because these numbers follow it, at least in this version. I believe I have 1.0.0.16 right now, which had a change in this variable from the previous one I'd looked at. This used to be 1.04. Anyway, these values have effects on the gems that you create, specifically these changes. If you change this one here, our gem speed, to say 10 times what it was before, that's just a change. But we can see the change right here. I created these at the beginning of the video, and you can see their shots per second are not all that unusual for this game. These ones I created after making that change in the memory are very much different, however. I multiplied the number there by 10 times, and now we have 10 times the number of shots. So let's test these out. These shoot basically as you expect them to, and surely we'll be in range of these. They're still just grade 1 gems, so they aren't doing a lot of damage, as you can see. But that's how you can cheese that particular value. These other values do other things. The gem max damage isn't a one-to-one. -one. Well, various things here aren't one-to-one. -one. I don't know exactly what the gem max damage multiplier or scalar is. I set it to five once and I got 15 extra max damage on all my gems, so who knows. And I do want to punch in a disclaimer before I quit out. If you just open the game, it won't have that table in it. It won't load that table into memory until you actually create a gem or enter a field where there's already a gem for you. So be careful when you're doing this method not to start cheat engine too early or it will fail for you. In any case, that'll be all. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.